Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we, I say we because there's four of us in this one. This co-op one is going to be doing Fishing Festival 1 and I have two in the tag. I was going to say to my left, but it's on the screen, it's on the right, is GT. Say hello, GT. Good afternoon for me. Good afternoon. Well, it's morning for us. GT's in a different country. It's afternoon for him. So he's in the Tega for short logs. I'm in my GMC for short logs. And if I bring up the map, we have in the railway warehouse or the railroad warehouse, we've got Steve in a pike, I believe it is. And good he's in the pike, yes. And good day to all. Good day to you too, Steve. So you're going to be picking up the service pair parts and heading down to the drop-off point where the three of us currently are going to be heading for. So, oh, I, GT and I are going to be heading up to this little log station for the short logs. That's where we are going, and then back. But up in this corner, we've got we've got Gareth in my as of seven three two one zero. He's needing a little bit of hello, fuel, hello. but hopefully he'll be making. Say hello, yeah, indeed. Yep. Hello. And you're going to be picking up cellulose for the task fishing festival two. So that is your job and you're going to be heading down towards the fishing festival to drop off point in your own time so you can basically crack on uh, and we will do the same so we all ready and we're off I have seriously got my money's worth out of this little GMC. Definitely. <laughs> well, I don't think I've... Quite, um, smoky, this pipe, this pipe, so exhaust is. Yeah, it's, it's needing a little bit of a tune-up. Yeah, you can't see where you're going. The, um, uh, you have Open to your position eyes. position the camera. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, I usually try and find exhausts that put the fumes either out to the side or underneath. Yeah. Because what I've noticed is if you've got a high snorkel, you can still have a low exhaust and it doesn't affect the engine. Yeah. It's only the air intake that counts for damage. Is obviously not very realistic. If you stop in deep water with your exhaust below the waterline, you're going to be in trouble at some point fairly quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm going to let it here. To get there again, if, if we wanted realism, we wouldn't be playing snow runner, would we? <laughs> yeah. This is just a bit of fun. Oh, I don't want mediums, shorts. There we go. Right, GT, I'm good. You know what's sad about like, Sod's Law being perfect? Oh, you're setting a route. Okay, I thought you'd done that right. Sorry, Gareth, you're... I, I was you saying in? that, you know how they say about Sod's Law being perfect timing and all that? Oh, don't tell me. You've, what have you done? No, the dog has just decided that oh. um, she wants a pee. <laughs> okay, off you go. You've got time to kill. At least you're not on screen at the yeah. moment. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Just land back down. Maybe she doesn't need to go. Maybe she just wants it in. Maybe she wants you to go. Yeah, that, that's entirely possible. She does okay. learn early on that every time she rings the bell, she gets to go in. Ring so, the bell. I'm quite sure whether she needs them or just wants them. Don't dogs always want out? Yeah. Especially, uh, you know, a herding dog. They always want to be yeah. on the ant. There's always some good smells for dogs. I've smelt it a million times, but they want to smell it again. So somebody else might, might, might have come past the same bit. Yeah. Mine has to go and wander around the garden every time a squirrel goes out there. <laughs> yeah, all these good smells for them to get their nose into it. A little while ago, or a few months back, she found and uh, met a new friend um, who was 
the same breed as her, just a few years older. So, Tell everybody what you've got then, Gareth. Oh, oh Border Collie. Yeah, Border sorry. Collie, um, yep. Yeah, black and white fluffy thing. But yeah, every time her, her new friend would um, hunt for squirrels, he'd run up to a tree and look up and she was always, she'd always join him, but never quite sure on what she was looking for. That's a good thing. So whenever, whenever uh, Lau took her for a walk, she would like copy the exact same strategy, walking up to the trees and looking up there. She didn't know what she was looking for. And I hope she never saw it well. The thing is, it's probably, they wouldn't go chasing the squirrels, I would like to think, well, they may do, but they would never catch they them. Do. <laughs> they, 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 I would like to think they wouldn't catch them then. It's uh, a toy. Um, where we live is quite a um, high number of uh, grey squirrels, so... Uh, but yeah, it, it, she's seen them, but she has no idea what to do with them. Oh no, yeah. But it, it was just really funny the early days where she'd just sort of wander up and look up a tree as, as if to say, it's out there. But she's no idea what she's looking for. Yeah. Dogs are funny. So all, all domesticated pets are funny in their own weird ways. Yep. Has Hunter come up with any um, interesting quirks as yet? Um. No, he's just getting... Now that he's settled in, he's getting more adventurous to places he shouldn't be going. Mm. Um, I'm, but if I'm, I have to kick him out of my computer room as such because he tries to get in behind the, the monitors now and chew on cables. Yeah, because it's nice and warm around there. And yeah. Then, you know, he knows he shouldn't be going in there and he's tried to climb <laughs> things that he knows he shouldn't be climbing, but he does it anyway. He's, he's due some... another cameo appearance at some point though. He's not had a cameo appearance for ages. He's, he's, he, I think he brushed across, he, he walked across me the other day, so his tail might have appeared in the thing as he was transiting through. Okay, it's oh, so going that way. GT taking a route I've never seen done before. It worked though, I'm not complaining. Poor little GMC struggling to keep up with them. I always get the slow trucks. Oh, on that <laughs> subject, I did get all of our atoms back in the garage. Oh yeah. And I tested them out, and all of yeah. them have the big engine and the same gearbox. Hey, I'm going. Oh, it is It's got it. You fished, or you're getting kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, it must have been down to like what Steve said about maybe... My, was it Steve or was it Gary? You said my computer may be under yeah. duress. Yeah, it's your, it's your computer, isn't it? Oh, shit. There's a bleep going in there. Um, you've kept them in the back of your truck though, well done. I'm going to get rid of mine. Uh, okay, am I in the wrong place? I am in the wrong place. That's the start box, not the drop-off box. Oh. Oh? What's all mean? Oh. Oh, if that's not the drop-off box. Yeah, it's just Where next to it? it's just next to oh, it. Right. I just got the yellow <laughs> magnifying glass but not the down arrow. Well ah, that's because I've got big. fishing festival number two up. Oh and I've got lots of lag. Hold on. Let me get the right job up for starters. Fishing festival number one, short logs, there we go. That'll make much more sense. Now we've got a down arrow. Cargo management, bye bye logs. Hey! Oh, that's all done. I thought we had to drop something done. else off. Yeah, I've already dropped, I already dropped the, them off. Oh, have I you? Got promotion as well. Well done, you. Yeah. It's your turn of the bar again. Right, okay, that was. Fishing Festival 1. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay everyone, take your fishing poles and let's go. Time to start the festival. So 6,600 6, cash, 570 XP. Not a lot, but better than nothing. And especially if you get a promotion, eh Steve? Right, engine off. That's a waste of space. That's a what? <sighs> yeah, 
I've just attached to the trailer the, okay. the uh, log trailer. Yes. And my truck glitched, threw itself in the air, uh. threw the logs off, and threw the planks out. So I'm now sound aside with the logs on the <laughs> logs on the floor and the trailer on the side. And the okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like that. Spiked. I does not like the short, the wood, the, the long trailer. <laughs> this is where the best laid plans go right out the window. Okay, so yeah, what we're doing? I'm looking at the map, so I can see Gareth coming down past the old metal work. So he's still on his way. So GT, talk to me, GT. I'm going yeah. to jump into the P512 and go down to help Steve. GT's going to either. Jump into a different truck or take his Tega and go up and do the job a wrong turn. Oh. Because I've had this yar up in this area, this warehouse, for yonks and yonks. But he's going to finally get it delivered. It's already repaired. So it's just a case of dropping off up at the town entrance. So he's going to quickly go and do that. Another tick in the box. Oh, Steve's taking the P512. Yeah. You, 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 you can come I, and... Uh, you can come and... Um, do that if if you you want to do the yar by the time you've done the yar I shall be the P five twelve be there ready for you and they're ready for you to come and uh, well see whether uh, G you can play with the crane I'm redundant GT's already on it he's already taking it yep what, the the yar yep I'm just watching so the map take now take the trailer up take take the trailer yeah. up to um, Christian Festival two then that was yeah. my original <laughs> job. I'm going to take the Tega. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, the service scout trailer. Right, so I'm doing this trailer. I've nicked GT's still warm Tega. For information, the um, Derry Longhorn up here is now dry. Is now what? Dry, no oh, fuel. you've stolen the fuel, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We'll worry about that and later. Like I'm dragging this very... poor trailer all the mm -hmm. way to the country park. Right, let's open up the map and get a wee route set. Where are we going? We are heading all the way up to the country park, so the easiest way, probably up the old railway line. So I'm heading there, up to the bridge, cross the bridge, and swing a horse left, me as well. I've got a route set. This poor trailer's going to be trashed by the time I've finished with it. Okay, somebody's done something. That will be, the yard has moved forward six inches. Well done, GT, if that's the case. I would have expected the whole path to be completed for that then. No, no you're now going to pick it up in the somewhere. junction. It should be repaired. Yeah, but it's got one point of damage. From oh no, has it? No. So I need okay. to repair um, points. From somewhere. The bandit. I'm sure it was undamaged when it was there. It was. I literally repaired it the, the other night. GT, did you damage that yard? I was probably not careful enough for it. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. But at least it's only one repair point, so. Yeah. The bandit, it just means you've got to drag the bandit up from the railroad warehouse. To the railroad warehouse that it, that he's it goes still down. in. I think he's still there, isn't he? I don't know, I've closed yeah. the map. I'm I on my move. The bandit now. I think the yard's still in the railroad, so yeah. Except for the fact the bandit has okay. only got wheels. Oh. Or does it need wheels as well? No, uh, no I'm saying the bandit's used 
it's 150 points, leaving only wheels. Oh Mac no! Defense. Mac defence. It's Mac. on the train line. Yeah, Mac defence. I'm just about to drive towards, or I think. Steve, you're still in the pipe, though, aren't you? I know I'm. I'm in the um, Pacific at the moment. Are you still correcting your mistake? I'm going to call that yeah. a mistake. It's not a glitch. That was your bad driving that caused that. <laughs> no, it was when I attached the trailer. It just yeah, yeah. Went yeah. Flying yeah. up in the air. Nobody no, believes no. you. No, no. He's trying. He's trying to do the space launch again. Oh, no. this trailer's going to be trash. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hang on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Steve, what have you done? Have you crashed? I haven't done anything. I've just realised that I've come down here with Pacific and I need a crane. Why do you need to the long cranes on it? To put, to, to, to put the planks back in the pipe. You just pick up the planks. There is the right planks at, the, at this warehouse. <laughs> this, this plank oh. is logs in this warehouse. Oh, that, those planks. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to plead ignorance and let you go on with it. Well, he can he can get the logs, but the planks are still on the floor. Okay, what have we got? This got a. Uh, I thought the pike had a crane on the back. If you put the crane, the pike back on his wheels, you can use the crane on the back of that. There isn't a pike. There isn't a crane on the pike, is there? Is there? Yes, I there is the a crane. Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, there is a crane on the pike. He's making trouble for nothing, MJ. I, I, I tell you, I'm working with amateurs. You're all sick. <laughs> I haven't fallen over yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said yet. Well, we've averted that disaster that Steve caused. Sitting there trying to scramble my brain, thinking is the war on thing? I don't think I so. I don't think it has the war on. Normally would have, but no, I don't think so. But I'm going to soon be having this service scout trailer dropped off. Okay, okay. How far are you with your cellulose? I can't even say it. Cellulose. Uh, I'm just hitting the first bridge. Oh, you're not far behind then. Cool. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Oh my life. I only accept the good news. The Pacific of the Pike are over the wreck. <laughs> You've crashed the P512. The P5, P512 tried to pull the bike. <laughs> and then. So you've crashed two in the space of 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and neither of them were screen. Well, at least I admitted to them. <laughs> Under duress. You said it was a glitch. Right, I've dropped off this trailer, but it's still here. It hasn't disappeared yet, and possibly until the cellulose arrives. Yeah. I'm just going to detach. Steve, do you want me to jump into the Voron then, maybe, and come and have a wee look? You can, or, or the Mac defense. Okay. The Mac I'm, I'm just going to part this, take it out of the way for Gareth arriving in the uh, 732 and 0. That should do there, I hope. Please don't crash into it. Hey, okay. Which is closer? Um, I'll jump in the Voron. He hasn't got much fuel, but... Oh, he has got a crane as well. I thought he'd got a crane on him. Where are we going out that way? There's a crane on the pipe. You just, they, they just need... The pipe just needs to um, yeah, yeah. turn on, on its wheels. I just couldn't remember if I'd actually put a crane on this Voron. It was a, an emergency standby vehicle. I like the Voron, so this will be, be good. I can't believe you still managed to crash the E512. It's uncrashable. Oh, I you need reckon? to <laughs> Well, you've proven me wrong. I need to set. I need to set a route. I'm going to get lost. Uh, right on. Have you finished with the fishing festival too? I've no, dropped no, off good. mine. I'm Gareth's doing his. All yeah. oh, right. I had a long, a way longer route. Although I am a little 
confused as to why GT went to the map that was further away. You probably just used the, the options right, list down the left of the map screen. Yeah. Right. What? what, what? Sorry, I, I didn't quite... There's two people. I didn't know there were two on the map. Yeah, there was one just by the by the bridge that you... I think you just driven, driven past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting his miles in. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it, it gets rewards by pence per mile. Do I turn in here? It looks like it. I'm down to 53 litres. I hope I've got enough fuel to get at least one truck on its wheels. Oh, look at the carnage. Oh, look at the carnage. Don't panic. I'll bring Bruce down after. Um, <laughs> Steve, are you in any of those vehicles currently? I'm in the Pacific at the right. moment. Okay, I'll try and get the little bike up first then, I think. It's, it's, just... it's detached from the trailer. It is good. I was just going to ask you if that was the case. Yeah. I detached from the trailer and tried to drag him this way so that I could um, put him upright. Fishing Festival 2 is complete. Well done, Gareth. So that says, thanks a ton. Hey, do you maybe want to join the festival? I've got a couple of beers with your name on them in the cooler. Nice. Hey, quickly, while we're running out of fuel, 11,750 cash, 970 XP. Well done. Right. I don't know what you're going to do now, Gareth. I haven't planned that far ahead. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, pull the tiger back around to the road and then I'm going to bring over some fuel for you guys. Oop. Okay, we have one pike on its wheels. Next. Is well, the... You nap, uh, MJ, you could nap the, um, the fuel from the roof of the pike. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not overly concerned about the fuel. I just want to... I want to get the, the P512 up and if this Voron ends up running out, it's not a problem. We'll just bring a fuel trailer down. Is the oh, Voron... Uh, sorry, is the... Yeah, that log trailer's still attached though, isn't it? Let's get it up anyway. There you go. Up you go. There you go. Right, you are up with both vehicles. Eve. Move your trailer over a bit brute force it over. So, you've got, oh, the logs. Oh, I need to get, right, I'll tell you what, I'll jump into the 512 with the log train. Just, just pick up some more logs. Sorry, just pick up some more logs, it's not, it's not a problem. Okay, stop it, engine. It's Pike, Pike does not want to attack to the trailer, so. Oh, you've broken my I Pike completely. Do you want me it's, to try um, and see about attaching it then, so it's probably. Uh, I think it's because it's on its side. Oh, that may have something to do with it. Turn it around. And, uh... I'm just going to reverse back up here with this trailer and stick it by the Voron, I think. MJ, I think I'm going to need that darkened room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be lying down in the fetal position next to you then. <laughs> right, in you go there. Nice. You should be good to go. Engine off. How are you getting on, Steve? Ooh. That trailer's still on its side. Do you want... Can I assist in any way? Okay, you want good. to turn the trailer around so it's ready to drive out. Yeah, so I'll I can... go around and pick the logs up, the, the planks up. Okay, yeah, okay, I can do that. Let's change to the... In fact, I'm going to put some fuel into the Voron then. Instruct. Oh, big tree stump. Hey, another task is done. That's the wrong turn done. Gonna work. Too far away. 
So what would you like me to do next? Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead either. Um, you might want to bring your truck back down towards the railroad warehouse, please. I'm going to read this out. So it says, you're a lifesaver. I was about I was, I was about ready to kiss, kiss your plans goodbye. We definitely don't budget for this, but it's still better than losing a car. Okay, 2,550 cash, 320 XP. We'll take that. Catch this. And John you know I'll need to load it up again since you're doing it that way. Gonna get in the zone. There we go. I will probably. I need to get rid of those logs. Oh man. Okay, close that. Remove cargo. Bye bye logs. Then back into this. Load that. Do you want me to turn this pull this trailer around so it's facing the other way for you? You want you want to come with me in that in that truck, or are you going to want me to do, do it on I your own? Well, now that I'm here, I suppose I can do it with you. You might as well I, just follow me, mind you. Right, hold on, let me get the right job up. What are we doing? We're doing our, our, our power trail. trail. Start tracking. Oh boy, are we going up the railway line or are we going up the road? Oh no, we can't even do that, can we? No, we're we're gonna we're gonna go right along the bottom, the bottom road. Yeah. To, to the to just before the log station. And then we're turning right. Right, basically I'm going to be following you anyway, so... Right, are we yeah. going around this loop or are we going to turn around? Yep, yeah, here. just go right around the loop. It's okay. easier, easier rather than trying to turn it around. Yeah, it's the fuel that's going to be the issue. I'm down to 80... 84. You're going to be driving past the fuel tank. I know, if I can get to it. Well, you've got the GMC got some fuel in. Yeah, we'll okay. We'll bring that back down. Let's just... I'll tell you when I'm running out. You've got the roof rack still, though, yeah? I've still got a roof rack, yeah. I've got, hundred, I've got half a tank and a roof rack. Okay, let's see how far we get. The Voron's fairly, I think, fairly decent on fuel. There's enough trucks dotted about that we can steal some. Oh yeah, there is certainly no shortage of but And they should have all been fairly much popped up from the last episode. Yeah. Ooh, okay, take that slow. Really... As soon as we've left the P512 behind, I don't want to be falling over again with these logs. Focus set it uh, up to max. Doesn't mean I won't That's crash though. But I have the big rock in the as you come out of that ravine. Yeah, I've just gone straight over the middle of it. Oh. Okay, we'll ignore the log tree thing that just did its own thing on the right hand side like a poltergeist. We were nowhere near it. Not even. <laughs> did you see that though? Yeah, it just flew up in the air. Yeah. There's poltergeists. It's this pipe, I think. It, 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 it's frightening things. <laughs> Scary pike. Oh, evening's drawing and I feel it's getting dark. You want to turn it around then? Yeah, let's get it back up to lunchtime of the next day. We've worked hard oh. today. Yeah, it's half past six, it's dinner time. Let's, let's get up to lunchtime. There we go. Hey! Come and turn the lights on. He certainly did. This will be quite good because at least we'll have these two trucks back in civilization almost. Yeah. <coughs> Where are you going that way? Oh no, I've kind of committed. Oh no, changed my mind. I should have just committed it. Round. 
we go. Ooh. Oh. Slowly over there. Oh. Yeah. I'm down to 43 litres. You want some off my roof rack? Um, I'll keep going a little bit. What's the next truck? Are we going to come up against my GMC next? Yeah, that's up by the Pushkin Festival bit, isn't it? Um, question is, how far are we going to get? Uh, oh, we've got a wee bit to go yet. Yeah. OK. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull to one side. You pull up alongside me. Yeah. And can, uh, I'll just steal your roof. Steal, steal it out of the roof rack. I think you'll be a little bit more fuel efficient with just the one lot of logs, uh, planks on the back. Well, I've got... I've got 95 still left in there, so okay. I'll, I'll get to the uh, the junction. Right, pull me up. In fact, can you? Are you able to? Um, to the, the trunk repair to the roller. Right? There you go. 116 litres. Half a tank hold. Okay. Yep, thank you very much. Spin the tires. Good trains come in. There's some nasty rocks in this bit. There is. Oh, the trailer was tipping over. Do you think we'll make it to the drop-off point? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, with, not without refuel. Not without, okay. As I said, absolutely yes. Right, that means Gareth's got a fuel truck nearby for us. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> big enough? <laughs> not quite big enough. <laughs> Help yourself, boys. <laughs> nice. Are you going to take that back to where the as of 72 and 0 is? Uh, yeah, we're going to put it along there. It makes yeah, it's probably the best there. place for it. Well, I've already been filled up. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. Yeah, Free good. fuel. Love it. Thank you, Bert. Okay. Which is gracious. Well, I went to jump into it when I was done with Bruce and then realised there was no trucks there. <laughs> so I had to could, go and get the other one. <laughs> could you actually, have you, if you top up your roof rack in the Mac once you're heading in that direction towards the railway line you're about to cross and go maybe go and top up the P512? Yeah, I might do that. So I don't think the P512 the will make it back. Which back. is um, by the bridge. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just refill everything I can. Yeah. GT, I know you're probably sitting there trying to your thumbs. Is there a job you want? No, I'm, I'm in the GMC trying to catch you up so I can see what's going on. Oh, you, you um, behind hey. us. Okay. Now, do you want to go right on this bit around the... Yeah, I'm going right. right. MJ, yeah? Yeah. It's the bit that's coming out that's probably the most tippy, though. I need to be careful. Steve, at the next wide bit of road just up here, I'm going to let um, GT catch us up. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get through here. We get, we get to the star Mac and he can. Uh... He's really not far behind you. Yeah, I'm going to let him go past. Yeah. There he is. And my trusty GMC. Oh, he's just broke it. <laughs> How much damage, GT? One. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> but one completely blown engine. <laughs> it's almost not worth it. Not worth damaging it for one. 
the way you went into the ditch, I'm surprised it's only one. <laughs> oh, that's what they say. Hey, well, I'll take that, that then, if there's only one. Um, left, 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 GG, is it left or right? Yeah, the way you're right. Going, that's right. it, keep going left, yep. It's the next back. right we're going. Yep. Let's go, go, go. I'm not even going to try and avoid these big puddles because I think the trailer might be a little bit too tippy if I try and avoid most of the nasty stuff. Yeah. Just slow it down and go through them. Straight through the middle, yeah. Slowing down's not an option. <laughs> Voron's good down, though. Or you'll, do, or you'll go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, Voron is good though. This next section of off road might be the more tricky though. Yes. You said next right, so yeah, you Steve's just right turning here. off now. Yeah, no, Steve. No, the next, next one after that. Was oh, it? Yeah. Do you want? Oh, Gareth, do you want to? Sorry, not Gareth. GT, do you want to fall in behind Steve? Yeah. Just in case, because Steve, have you got the route set, haven't you? Yeah. Is it this one here though? <laughs> you can yeah. write that. Back it up, GT, you're in the way. <laughs> okay, go forward. DT, DT, you should have gone and gone the Pacific, not the, um, uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case we needed a log crane. That's not putting much well, faith in me. Thanks job. for that, Steve. You've got no faith in me. Oh, no, I'll... You've got no faith in you. <laughs> I've got no faith in me, yeah. I'm amazed, I'm amazed I've got this far, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, that's deep, nasty stuff, though. Yeah. You yeah, should really have... go right way I've gone, or you can go left, which is there over the rocks, so... I prefer you? the mud. If it's level, I'll follow you. It's just muddy. Okay, muds. I prefer mud to rocks with a trailer of this nature. I tidied up the, the logs that you chucked everywhere, Steve. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Tidied up by deleting them. You chopped them into firewood. No, no, they, they were sitting beside the thing, so I just like, look, guys, he made a mistake. Can you just pick them up? Put them back in the pile and we'll grab them later. I'm hoping that's the last we see of medium logs, or any logs. You still okay there, MJ? Yeah, I'm Can making progress. You? I'm just going through the chicane. I, can't. I should have probably had the P512 doing this job. It's the long <laughs> log trailer. Yeah. That would have been an idea. Eee. <laughs> if in doubt, put the foot to the floor. Oh, well, we'd have definitely needed fuel. Yeah, we would have got. We would have got here without fuel. Yeah. Up, oh, come on. Is it worth me picking up any short logs? Like, will any? Task need them. Don't think so, no. I'm not sure. I need to have a, another look through what's left. We are very much getting to the end of season 12. So I don't think there's that much more to be done. And your Mac Defense is very thankful for that. Yeah. The suspension is knackered. The, the, uh, there's some nice engine damage and fuel tank damage. That was in pristine condition before you jumped in it. Was it hell? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to get away with that. You want a, um, a tow up there? Uh, I don't know, where have you gone? You want to stop at the top, give him oh, a yeah. week if he needs it. 
What route are you taking me, Steve? Up to wrong turn. <laughs> is this the best mm -hmm. route? Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. I'm climbing. I'm climbing. Oh, I can't make it. Okay, let's throw the winch out. Go, GG. Foot to the floor. Just go straight. Eve. Oh, these rocks. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Again, this is another classic case of I'm glad I'm in co-op. <laughs> that, that applies to all logging. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. I'm going to stay attached as we got this muddy hill. Almost there. Thank you, GT. I've released the leash. Can't be that much further to go, is there? Sounds like uh, Lau's home. Oh. That therefore sounds like somebody's in trouble. Nah, I'm not in trouble. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm with you. Where have you guys gone? Steve, GG, talk to me, where are you? Oh, the trailer, the trailer. Look at the hill, waiting oh, right by the task. <laughs> I almost lost the logs a minute ago. <laughs> as long as it's only almost. Yeah, it was only an almost. We're losing now in that last corner. Oh, that would just be horrific. Almost there, last little bit. And we are in. Deep breath. Right, move it to cargo management. Bye bye. Medium logs. Yay, look at the bridge. So, that Yay. was Tower Trail. And it says, and now traffic is restored. Not that the trail has gotten any easier, but at least we can get to the watchtower now. Yay! 4,400 cash, 410 XP. Well done, guys. Engine off for a second. Where are we all? So there's Gareth down at that fuel trailer with the Mac. I think. Yep. Mac defense. Yeah, what truck are you? Oh, you're in the Azov again. 7200. And we are all up here. How are we getting down, guys? <laughs> I, I, it's why a don't long we... way. You see where the medium logs the are? You know, we're right up to the um, the little town. You want to go all the way up to the town, do you? Well, unless, unless you can do, you can think you can do a three-point turn here <laughs> with the trailer on the back. Yeah, I reckon I can. <laughs> I, I reckon I can turn you go that back down to the gateway. Right, okay, let's, before we end the recording, let's just get this thing out of the way. It's going to go around this rock, I think. I'll pull it up the hill. Why have we got three lots of medium logs in the, in the middle of nowhere? I dropped them when I was a while back. <laughs> Oh, you, you, were, you were trying to shortcut, were you? Yeah. Hold on a sec. I'm not going another meter until I get recognition of that reversing of a dolly trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that was utterly professional. That was really good. Thank you, I Steve. I didn't think you'd get them. 
Well, put this way, you're, you're doing better with the you, you do better with the trailer on than uh, GT GT's doing without a trailer. <laughs> At least he made it without crashing. Your turn now. Uh. Right, carry on past me, GT. It's getting dark we again already. Are we, we gonna go down your shortcut? You, yeah. oh, I don't know where uh, you reckon. Oh no, Gareth's coming up the shortcut. GT. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a definite. Left? No, he can't because uh, Gareth's coming up the way. You'll oh, meet yeah, him on. Just clearing up the um, the logs. Have you cleared? Have you managed? Yep, the logs, the logs are clear. There's, I'm showing one still left on the map. Um. Shouldn't be there. Or maybe it'll disappear in time then. Right. Do you want me to go left or keep on right? Left. Oh, are we so going to do this? Come, come. Yeah, why not? We're going to finish up down at the railroad warehouse and that's the other one disappeared, yeah. Gareth. Good job. Okay, am I following? No, I'll follow you, Steve. You go next. Oh, no. There may be trouble ahead. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Steve, I tell you, that was close. Right, GT, you need to... Are you high-centered? No, I'm... Oh, I was just... Oh, my God. You're having a race down the hill. Right, I'm just going to have to brute force this. Oh, that looks like a good way by Steve. Oh yeah. He needs roads. Road. No. GT threw a winch to me. He's trying to pull me over. I saw that. <laughs> oh, it's just thinking. Um, can you get out of there? I'll give you a nudge. Oh no, you've done it. Leave me for a winch, or are you okay? I'm, I'm okay, I think. I'm going up to the left of the excavator, though. I'm going to go around. And through the trees. What are you doing behind me there, GT? You still there? Uh, he's, yeah. He's sure. getting there. Or are you just having a wee break in that road bit? Are you needing a winch to something? I'm high centered, but just about moving on. The yeah, I can see you. Don't worry, the camera is watching. Don't feel under pressure. Oh. I think you got a Mac on the way to help you. Right. <laughs> I'm going to park up next to Steve. Oh, I hear a reversing beep. <laughs> Who's reversing? <laughs> Ah, reversing beep is loud. Sorry, Steve, what were you saying? I said, look at the state of the front of my truck. <laughs> you have trashed my bike. <laughs> right, throw the Mac in behind Steve, and GT, you can come in behind me, uh, beside me. There we go. The Mac goes where it came from. Perfect, yeah. come, come forward, GT. Come up beside me in the Tega. If you can, they... Awesome job, what a... Oh my life, there goes... Um, there goes my wing oh. mirrors. <laughs> GT coming through. Okay, awesome job. Thank you to you all. We did a good bit of work there. Uh, and we didn't have too many accidents. It's, they can't be by theft. No, tell you what, let's just quickly open up. What have we got left contract-wise? We've got Monumental Science, which we're saving for Mickey to come and help us with. That's the only one there. We've got four left. Packing Nightmare, Weather Crisis, Clear Picture, and Water Monitoring. And that is it, except for a few tasks and contests. So, not three bad. So, guys, starting with Steve, say goodbyes. Goodbye, then. GT. Au revoir. Au revoir. And Gareth. See you soon. And you will Don't see us all soon. Subscribe. 
don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. We're on a very bad number currently. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. You'll see us again soon. Bye for now.